Hey everybody, so today I am here to talk about detangling natural hair. So I realized recently that I don't have any detangling products, like nothing to detangle my hair. For you guys that follow my natural hair videos, my natural hair routines and stuff like that, you know that I always detangle in the shower on wash days when my hair is saturated with conditioner and I will go ahead and detangle that way and that works great. However, every time I wanted to change my hair in between wash days, it was a total disaster. My hair just gets so knotty, so tangled, so unmanageable, and I pretty much just go ahead and do my whole wash day routine. I go ahead and wash and condition my hair and detangle in the shower like always. So I wanted to see if I could find something that helped to get my hair more manageable, especially between washes just in case I wanted to change up my style or do something different then I could do that. So what I did was I went on Amazon and I was searching for natural hair detanglers like the best ones and I sorted it by highest rated and I came across a bunch of different products with a lot of good reviews so I went ahead and picked out six uh, of those products. So these are six of the highest rated detangling products that I found at the time that I bought them. All of these had a rating of four out of five stars or greater. Just wanted to do a kind of like a test with you guys. I have not tried any of these products before. I have not opened them. I have not um, done anything with them. I wanted to give you guys my first impression and show you on my hair how it worked and see if any of these actually work for me. So really quick, my hair right now, I did wash it and I actually only shampooed it. I did not put any conditioner in it. I did not detangle it in any way, shape or form. So this is just clean hair and it's air dried. And as you can see, my hair shrinks up <laughs> a lot and um, it's very, very tangled right now. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous how this is going to go. I have never tried to detangle my hair in this state. It's pretty much just like 95% dry and um, so this will be interesting. So I have six products and to make this fair I'm going to go ahead and try. I'm going to attempt to um, separate my hair into six equal-ish sections so I can use one product on each section and see how it goes. So let me do that now. These sections will definitely not be perfect because this is a struggle just trying to separate it. Oh my goodness. So you guys see why a lot of the time I work with stretched hair that has been um, previously detangled because trying to work with this, woo, it's, it's a lot. All right, got one. <laughs> this is making me hot. <laughs> just trying to do this is a lot of work. Whew. Okay, so finally, have my hair divided into six sections. Not the neatest, but we're gonna work with it. All right, so let's go ahead and see what these products are talking about. So first up, I'm gonna use this Coil Calm Detangler. This one says it smooths coils for soft, tangle-free hair, adds shine, and moisturizes strands made with pure shea butter. The directions say to spray onto damp hair section by section, comb through and style as usual. Smell test, smells good, smells kind of fruity, a little citrusy. Let's do it on this section. All right, so I have a bottle of water. Just gonna dampen this a little bit. Gonna spray on this Coil Calm Detangler. I don't really like the spray bottle. Just first thoughts. It's kind of hard to spray, it gets a little slippery, and then trying to press down, it's kind of falls out of your hand. So I don't like that. I wish this were a squeeze bottle. All right, so I feel like I have enough. So I'm gonna use my favorite brush that I use on wash days. This is like my holy grail. Start from the bottom and work my way up. Here is the detangled section. Let's see if I can run my fingers through it. Oh, oh one snag. But other than that, I can run my fingers through it so that's good. So on a scale from 1 to 10 for the Coil Calm Detangler, 1 being absolutely horrible and 10 being like the best thing since sliced bread, I would give this 
a seven and a half a solid seven and a half because it really did do a nice job um but the thing I don't like about this is like I mentioned the spray bottle it gets pretty cumbersome to use this especially if your hair is um, damp and you're trying to spray and hold and detangle it just gets <laughs> too much also the smell is nice However, I think they should tone it down just a little bit because it can be a little overpowering. And it did help tremendously with the manageability. I just wish it gave my hair more luster. I feel like it didn't, it's not looking as lustrous and juicy as it could. And um, I wish it had a little bit more slip to it. So those are my thoughts about that. But all in all, good product, solid. Yeah. Next up, I have the Black Vanilla Moisture and Shine 4-in-1 Combing Cream. This says it is for dry, dull, and brittle hair. Instantly detangles, deeply moisturizes, enhances natural shine, and preps hair for manageable styling. I wanted to try this because I've tried some Carol's Daughters products in the past and I really didn't get good results from it. But this had, you know, good ratings. So I wanted to see if this was different because I've never tried this particular product. We shall see in a second. Let's see what it says. It says use on wet hair to detangle and add shine. Again, apply on damn hair. I definitely would not recommend, especially if you have super kinky hair hair that draws up like this and gets really tangled. I would not recommend just trying to put products onto dry hair and detangling it dry. Woo! That's a recipe for disaster. So don't do that. Let's dampen this up. A quarter sized amount. I don't feel like that'll be enough. But I'm gonna start with a quarter and work my way two more if I don't feel like that's enough. That's a little bit more than a quarter. Kind of like a quarter, right? All right, so put that on. Really get those ends. Starting from the bottom. Work your way up. Is getting tired. <laughs> feel like that's good. Let's do the fingers through the hair test. Ooh, pretty nice. I like how it makes my hair feel springy. It makes it feel really hydrated. I like the way it makes my hair feel. I definitely feel like it has more slip than the. The first product and I just like how it feels overall this is good it did take me a little bit longer for me to detangle this than the first section but I feel like despite that it worked better if that makes sense and I'm not sure if you guys can tell but my hair looks a lot more lustrous with this than this one so i am pleasantly surprised by the four in one combing cream this did detangle nicely my hair feels amazing it feels moisturized i like the packaging i like how it's dispensed for my rating for this i would give this an 8.5 this is good stuff and if it would just penetrate my hair a little bit faster give it a tiny bit more slip that would um increase my rating but for the way it is right now extremely decent I see why they gave it high marks and I will give this an 8.5. Okay, product number three. I'm gonna do this section. The Tahitian Gardenia Flower and Mango Butter Curl Defining Detangler. This says that it detangles, adds shine, and hydrates to enhance curls. And the directions say to spray onto damp hair and comb through style as desired. My hair feels so dry without any uh, conditioner in it, jeez. All right, so let's try this curl defining detangler. Ow, this is another one. I don't like spray bottles for detanglers. I'm just not, my hands are wet, it's slipping down. It's hard. Let me put some more in here. This is a headache. Just off the bat, I don't like the way this makes my hair feel. It feels like I'm just spraying on water that has a little oil in it. It just doesn't feel like it has slip. It doesn't feel manageable. I'm going to try to detangle through this. Let me put a little more. 
on my ends. I don't like this. I'm hoping it's... Mm -mm. Nope. a little of this Carol's Daughter on this section. I'm just going to stop with this to finish detangling this and I'll tell you my thoughts. The Curl Defining Detangler, I do not like this product at all. I don't like the spray action and I didn't like the way it made my hair feel. When I sprayed this on, it made my hair feel rougher than it did dry i'm not sure how that's even possible but i didn't like the way it made my hair feel wasn't a good detangler for my hair didn't help that much it helped a little bit but it was just not not good out of 10 i would give this a three like if i had to use it if it was a last resort i would use it but i would never buy this again all right product number four we have the coconut and hibiscus kids extra moisturizing detangler another spray bottle yay <laughs> Saturate it with the water. Let's see how this is. Very lightweight. Don't know how I feel about that yet. I like the scent. It's light and refreshing. But just from spraying it on, I don't feel like it's doing a lot. This says, this mild moisture rich treatment detangles, defines, and tames children's thick, wavy, or unruly hair without greasiness. Restores luster to dry, dull hair while conditioning. Apply to wet or dry hair. I sprayed a good amount on this section. Let's see. Ooh. Do you hear that? helped a little bit but not much that section is detangled finally this is another thing I wouldn't buy again I know it says kids but um, even on the reviews it said adults were using it so I figured if it worked for kids why wouldn't it work for me right it's just so light it didn't feel like it was doing anything to hydrate or to detangle my hair uh, also I had to use quite a lot of this just to get my manageability at a level where I could actually get the brush through it. The good thing about this is I like the scent and it does help to detangle but you're probably going to have to use a lot of this to make a difference if you have hair like mine or if your hair is even thicker. Don't even think about it. It makes my hair look pretty juicy but I'm not liking the feel of it. It doesn't make it feel soft and luxurious like I would like it to. It feels a little rough still. So I would give the Coconut and Hibiscus Kids Extra Moisturizing Detangler, I would give this a four for me. Number five, we have The Great Detangler. I immediately was drawn to this just because of it says The Great Detangler. So it's like, you know, that's a big claim. It says it eliminates tangles on contact, softens hair and defines curl pattern, stops breakage while combing curly, kinky, coily, and wavy hair. So the directions say to use on wet or dry hair and apply a liberal amount. Use fingers to work the product through the hair to loosen tangles and use a medium to large tooth comb to detangle. Got that much. Hmm. My hair's still feeling a little rough with this. Add a little bit more. Work it in. does detangle pretty well and it worked to smooth my hair however I'm not I'm not liking too much the way it's making my hair feel it feels like it has a lot of product in it but at the same time it doesn't feel like it is moisturized it doesn't feel nice I just don't like the feel of my hair with this I wouldn't buy this one again either even now that I'm getting to the end my ends feel rough with this 
So for this, I would give it a five. It's not terrible, but it's not great either. And the last product we have to try is the Kinky Curly Not Today. This has been out for so long. I've been wanting to try this for ages and I've just never tried it, but I've seen it for years, always passed by it. All right, so this says, can't get that comb to glide through your hair? Well, not today. This creamy herbal conditioner is enriched with botanical extracts and is designed to smooth the cuticle and to remove knots, snarls, and tangles from thick curly hair. All right. Nice and creamy. Definitely makes my hair feels like it has slip and like it's moisturized. So I really like that. But as far as the detangling action though, I felt like it could be a little bit better. It wasn't torturous, but it wasn't as easy as I thought it would be and as easy as a couple of the other products I just tried. But it's certainly a decent detangler and it did help to get my hair a lot more manageable. And while my hair does feel nice with this, it is pretty coated. So I feel like if you use this too much, you might get a lot of product buildup with this, but not bad at all. So for the Kinky Curly Knot today, I would give this a, I would give this a seven, a solid seven. Just wanted to show you guys really quick. I put the four in one combing cream all over this section just to show you how manageable it is right now. And I can part it super easy. And it's just really springy. And bouncy feels really good so just wanted to show you okay so recap the two detanglers that I like the most were the Cantu Shea Butter for natural hair coil calm detangler and the Carol's Daughter black vanilla 4-in-1 combing cream with the combing cream coming out as the winner this is the one that surprised me but it came out as the one I like the best out of the six uh, detanglers for natural hair that I tried the one that I like the least is the Not Your Mother's Naturals Tahitian Gardenia Flower and Mango Butter Curl Defining Detangler this did not work for me at all <laughs> so these two i will definitely keep using the other ones <laughs> i'll probably give them away to somebody that could use them but yeah i'm really happy that i finally found some detanglers that i can use because i would never have been able to done this between wash days or if i hadn't previously stretched my hair to get it sleek and up like this easily, that would have <laughs> never happened. So I'm really happy that I have some things that I can work with now. So I hope this was helpful to you guys. You guys let me know if there's any uh, detangling products that you use that I haven't tried or maybe the ones that I have tried. Let me know what your favorite is. Let me know what works for you. You know, just leave them below in the comments. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you very soon on my next one. Bye.